Hey everyone, I'm Russ. I am Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Prime in the Pump Edition. That's right. Okay, so we're going to do another side-by-side. -side. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I know. They're, they're both, both of these whiskeys are made by Chattanooga. Yep. They are both of the same uh, batch. Yep, same mash same, bill. Same mash bill, everything. Yep. Only difference. Two different barrels. Yep. So... I'm really curious to see what each barrel did differently. Now, I vaguely recall, you know, the flavors associated with yours. I've tried this one, and I've noticed the difference outside of this. I'm curious to do the side-by-side. -side. I, I am, too. Um, we've not done this. I mean, we've put whiskeys up against each other to see yeah. differences. But, I mean, how much... How much um, difference does a barrel make? Yeah. I mean, the, there really is no other difference to explain anything we notice taste-wise. So right. that's, we're really honing in on that one thing. Exactly. So, I mean, this is, you know, this is like two identical twins, you know, one goes to space and one stays on Earth, like like the Kelly astronauts. Yeah. And then you get to see the differences. This is going to be cool. This is going to be fun. All right. All right. Let's get into it. Um, all right. So the first one <laughs> is, um, all right. So this one is the uh, um, DSPTN15017. And the mash bill, it's roasted. And uh, the alcohol by volume on this is 59.85 uh, or 119.7 proof. Okay. And this one is DSP. Dash TN15017. It is 119.6. So, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, that's the same. Well, I think that's the... Oh, maybe that's the batch. That's what I'm thinking. Because uh, okay. if you look at the label, the silver label here, then gives a barrel. Okay, all right. So you've got the gold label on yours. Yep, so this is SB055. And this is SB091. So okay. there's your difference. So right, basically what it's saying is the mash bill's the same between the two, but on the label itself, the little add-on sticker, it shows you the actual barrel. Cool. This is amazing. This is going to be great. Okay. Um, all right. Let's... Uh, I'm going to pour one... Well, hell, let me just grab that okay, one. I'll pour one, one for you. All right. And we'll keep this one on the right and yours on the left. Okay. Got it. Because I think it's going to be interesting to compare the nose... Um, amongst other things. <laughs> okay. There we go. So yeah, it's there's uh, yours and yours. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay, so that stays on the left, this stays on the right, and we have a direct A-B comparison. Oh, all right. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. All right. So, um, all right. I, I guess we'll we'll start with any any noticeable differences in color. Yeah. And I do not see anything. No. They look pretty much identical. They look identical. All right. And s same oils. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. All right. So, all right. We're going to do this one first. Yep. Nice sweet nose. Yeah, very, yeah, exactly. You get that nice sweetness on there. There's a little bit of uh, barrel influence. Mm. Uh, you get a little, little oaky note in there, but the sweetness is right there, the caramel, the... Yeah. Oh. And the ABV's not punchy on the nose either. Yeah, this is surprisingly soft nose, soft nose for a you know fairly high-proof whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's that caramel. Um, I'm not really getting like that cherry note, but there's like a little fruit note going in there. Yeah, I'm not getting cherry on the nose either. I'm also, it's not really corn forward on the nose. No, no, uh, it is, it is not. Now uh, let's see. Then the mash bill on this. Okay, so now this one is uh, uh, the Cooperage charred or toasted uh, charred oak barrels. Um, See, does it have the yeah maybe one of those deals where we have to take that code to decipher it yeah I, I think so yeah it doesn't it doesn't give a the straight up mash bill on that yeah hmm but that is just sweet and caramelly yeah. and vanilla and now I will say as it airs out a little bit I am getting a little of that cherry just a very hint on it 
Not much <coughs> on the nose, but yeah. a little bit. There's like a yeah. There's a little fruitiness going on mm. in there. Um, I, it could be cherry. I think as you let it air out, you might get more and more. At least that seems to be coming yeah. through that fruity nature a bit more as it seems to be yeah, airing out. Definitely a dark fruit though. Yeah, um, and that's a, that's really nice and rich. Agreed. Yeah, it's rich and buttery. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Ding ding ding. Round All right, two. So hang on. All right. Um, it's an old trick to if you mm. sniff your skin, um, it will help set the olfactory senses. Okay. That doesn't mean you sniff somebody else's. No, no. It doesn't work your, that way. It only works on yours. Have clean pitties. Now okay. I'll say this one seems to be subtler. I think so. There, There is a noticeable difference between the two. Yeah, I mean, some of the same aromas are there. They're just faint by comparison. Right. Now, this one does not seem to have as much caramel you know that yeah. you know that's that sweet vanilla yeah the nose just seems a little thinner right hmm okay yeah interesting i think i like the first nose a little bit better yeah i think so oh yeah there is a noticeable difference yeah no that's that's significant okay yeah all righty all right well shall we all right Cheers. Cheers. Nice and spicy. Mm. Um, great, great vanilla. Oh, mouth, mouth is watering. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's got a little drying nature, Ooh. too, which sets off the waterworks in your mouth. It really does. But the oils are there. Yes, I mean, it's definitely sure. got nice oils. Coats the tongue well. I agree. Definitely nice and spicy right off the bat, like a brown sugar sweetness. And it does have a nice little char to it also. Yeah. Which uh, which I find incredibly pleasant. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. There we go. Tom's down a little on the second sip. Spice doesn't hit quite as hard. Get a little bit more of the corn nature to it. Yeah, now it's um, mm. now on the second sip on that, it, it's getting a little tannic. Mm. Um, I think it's more of the drying nature, but it sort of has a black tea yeah. finish. No, I'm with you on that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but but beautiful sweetness. Yeah, and um, you know, I was thinking caramel now, but now I'm thinking brown sugar. Yeah, I'm definitely with you on that. Brown sugar, a little bit of a vanilla. Definitely get some of the barrel impact to it, a little bit of a char to it. Um, definitely some nice spice. Yeah, and, it's, uh, it's very complex, oh, and yeah. I think I think you the more the more times you go to this, the more times you're going to unlock something new. Well, and I I really think this is one of those ones where you can just let it sit here for a little bit, take your time sipping it, and as it airs out, you're going to get a little bit of a different experience as you carry on through it. It's not one that you're going to get bored with very quickly. I right, think. and and I agree with that. In fact, I'm going to let the rest of this sit, and then we'll we'll try this one, and then yeah. go back. Okay. Shall we? All right, let us. Cheers. Cheers. That one's very dry. Mm -hmm. It really is. Holy cow. Um, mm. That that took all the moisture out of my mouth. Wow. And just, and, and then, but it, it's not as spicy. No. A little less char on it. Still got that black tea finish, but I'm getting a little hint of tobacco in there too. Yeah, I'm noticing that as well. Mm. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem as sweet as the first one. Right, it, it does not. So that this one was brown sugary. Oh yeah. This one's got it's still got some sweetness to it, mm -hmm. but it's not, you know, it's not dessert. Yeah. No, now, this I would one's agree. this one's more savory, where this one's sweeter. This one I get less char, and more oak. Right now, was that also a toasted barrel? Uh, let's see. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mashville, spray some days. Charred or toasted and charred oak barrels. Okay. So, so same, same. Same treatment, but 
you know as we've discussed before if you've cut wood or anything of that nature you'll notice some have more sap than others and the texture can be different than others even though it's pine versus pine or oak versus oak so mm. the wood of that barrel definitely made a difference there's no doubt well this one is really interesting going back on the second time mm -hmm. like i said it, it drew out the moisture of my mouth but it left it like a almost like a numb um, like a, like going to the dentist a little bit of Novocaine, yeah. you know, just as you're coming out of it and everything, you still get that little bit of a uh, little bit of the drug in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, mm. it's uh, you know, kind of just an interesting feel to that. The ABV hits a little differently on this mm -hmm. one. Um, it is certainly drier and definitely not as sweet. You can tell they're related, but you wouldn't think it was the same batch, the same mash bill just the difference in barrels that barrel made a big difference I, I, unbelievable like night and day difference to this yeah i mean i would say that these are probably 20 percent different oh yeah no i think that's that's a safe number really interesting um i enjoy both of them and i mean chattanooga is definitely one of my favorite local distilleries for a reason um i'd be pleased with either one of them matter of fact i think mixing the two would be kind of interesting <laughs> holy cow all right so now i've got tobacco on the nose oh yeah yeah now that's and this this is why whiskey manufacturers blend yeah you know it's just because the difference between barrels can be so significant yeah, that, that really took it in a nice direction. Mm. Yeah, so that's uh now now it's caramel y, a uh, mm -hmm. little bit of little bit of pipe tobacco in there. Uh very it's still very yeah. sweet. Um a little a little char but not yeah crazy. I agree. Um somehow it's a little softer on the nose too. A little yeah, more I'm noticing that. And that was about a fifty fifty um yeah, for I me. Did the same. Okay, yeah. let's see. Cheers. Mm. Holy cow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that did some nice things. Still dry. Still dry. Yeah, very um, dry. Yeah, yeah, very dry. But you, you get some of that sweetness back at the beginning, I think. But it also bumped up like the, the tobacco note oh, on yeah. that. A uh, little chocolate note, maybe. Yeah, no, I'm with you on a little, that. Like a little bitter chocolate. Now, what's interesting to me is the first time we tried this, which was your bottle, the mm. one on the left, your right, um, I got a little bit of a cherry nature to it. I'm not really getting that so much on the palate. No, not anymore. That's interesting. Wow, it is shocking the difference a barrel made in that case. I mean, you know, logically, that there's going to be a difference. It's really cool to experience it like this. Yeah, but to put the two side by side like that, yeah, and and then and then to combine them a little bit, oh yeah. man, no, that's that's really cool. Now, one of the things we found around here is these have become rather tough to come by. Mm -hmm. um, we did the initial review of Marks there, and I really enjoyed that and decided, you know what, on the way home, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the other barrel, which I did, and immediately afterwards they were wiped out. Gone. Um, so, I don't know if you're going to be able to find one in your neck of the woods. Hopefully you can, because either way, they're both really tasty. Absolutely, and if they're, you know, if you do come across one, it may be one worth considering. Yeah, but it does go to show, you know. Uh, that's the problem with single barrels. You <laughs> may love one and not love the other. In this case, I kind of enjoy both. Um, what are you thinking? Yeah, um, in terms of, like, score? Yeah. Um, wow. Um, I would say... Four and a half, maybe on this one. Four, mm -hmm. four and a half, uh, maybe four on this one. I'm with you. Actually, it's funny you picked those numbers because <clears throat> I was going in the exact same direction. I really enjoy the sweetness this is, that this one brings um, beyond what this one does. Um, so yeah, I was going to go four and a half on this, four on this. But I mean, look, either one of them, that's a good score. Yeah, absolutely. So much fun, and I love I love what Chattanooga whiskey is doing. 
Yeah. Well, and I mean, to be honest with you, none of their higher ABV ones have disappointed me. Even their 50% ABV ones have been damn tasty. Right on. And like you said, I love the fact that we have the ability to do this comparison. Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, we sure did. Take care. All right, we'll get you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Damn. I know, right? I thought there was a difference. I didn't realize it was quite that.